July. In July, next month, Spider-Man Homecoming will be out, and I will be going to see it, because I love Spider-Man, love Marvel. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to another Funko Pop review, and this time we have Spider-Man from the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie, which, um, yeah, which I just said comes out in July, next month, and I, and I can't wait to see it, because, like I said, well, let's get right into this review of Spider-Man. There's many different, hold on, let me get the box. Let me read off how many different Spider-Mans there is. Um, there's this Spider-Man. There's the Spider-Man homemade suit. So that might be a spoiler. I might put it in the description, but it's not really a spoiler. It's in the trailers. Homemade suit. Uh, Peter Parker's there. And I'm going to go ahead and read off the entire Spider-Man Homecoming series. You get Tony Stark and Vulture. And I also saw on the Funko Pops Twitter um, that there's actually an exclusive Spider-Man Unmasked. Which looks very cool. It's just the Peter Parker head on basically this exact body. So, I mean, but that's very cool that they have that exclusive for Spider-Man Homecoming. And let's get right into this. So first, the best detail on this entire figure is actually on the head. Because there's so much detail on the texture of the eyes. To get that feel of Spider-Man. Um, you can also count this as a Civil War figure because it's the exact same uh, suit. But it says Spider-Man Homecoming. So, But the texture everywhere you can tell is just all on the side of the head and on the back. It's all textured. Very nicely, and that's a cool pose, too. Looks like he's about to, you know, just swing off the little spider on the back here. And you can obviously see that he has the web shooters on either arm. So let me get in close there. The web shooters are on either arm right here, which looks cool. I love that that pose. That's why part of the reason I got him, because hey, I love Spider-Man. Can't wait for the movie. And that's just such a cool pose. I was just standing there, you know, with both of the signature Spider-Man, you know, Pose and uh, nice detail on the front torso right there. My bad. And good uh, footprinting. And there's obviously more paint that needs to be touched up. I've said that in a couple of my Funko Pop reviews, especially with the Darth Vader pop. Some paint, you know, just doesn't. You know, it, it happens. So if you would like to touch it up when you get Funko Pops, that's always a good idea. But on the feet, there's just a little misprinting uh, with the paint, but that's okay. Overall, this is a great Funko Pop. Highly recommend it. And I highly recommend to go see the movie, too, because it looks really good. But I will definitely going, will be going to see that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.